students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over uh, two examples on uh, trigonometry of general angles. So let's write down the title for um, the notes. Right, right angle trig on, I mean, of general angles of general angles. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a look at two examples. Let's write down the instructions for the examples first. Uh, so find, find the exact value, the exact value of the six the six trigonometric six trig functions of theta if the terminal side if the terminal side of theta is in standard is in standard position in standard position containing the given point containing the given point all right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at number one. Number one, we have the point negative four, three. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to generate the right triangle using this point. Okay, so um, this point is going to correspond to one of the vertices of, of my right triangle. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to graph this point first, and then we'll create our right triangle from that. All right. So since we're going to the left and up, we're going to be in quadrant 2, so let's make quadrant 2 pretty big. We know that this is the X coordinate, and this is the Y coordinate right here. Okay, so that goes the X, that goes the Y, so I'm going to go 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this length right here is negative 4, I'm going to go up uh, 3 units, so 1, 2, 3. Right there, that's 3, so that point right there is 3. So this length right here is 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a right triangle. Anytime you're creating this triangle, uh, you go from the origin to the point. That's the hypotenuse. Your triangle should always sit on the x-axis, okay? So you draw the triangle like this, all right? So regardless of where the point is, try to make sure your triangle is sitting on the x-axis. And theta is always the smallest degree from the x-axis, okay? So that's theta right here. Um, don't try and make this theta, that's not accurate. So the shortest angular measure from the x-axis will be theta, all right? So this is negative 4, and this is 3. Since this is theta, that makes this, we can now name the side, okay? So let's name the side. Since this is theta, this is my opposite, because that's the side that's opposite the angle. This is the longest side opposite the 90 degrees, is always the hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse right here, h y p. And this down here is the adjacent, all right? Now, in order to find all six, we need um, opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, but we know only the opposite and adjacent, so let's find the hypotenuse, okay? So we can call this A, B, or call this A, and this call this B. So let's call this A, and let's call this B, and this is what? This is C, because the hypotenuse is always C. The legs are A and B. All right, so let's find out what C is. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know that A is negative 4. We squared out plus B is 3. We squared out equals C squared. Okay, so we're going to have 16 plus 9 equals C squared. 16 plus 9 is 25, right? 25 equals C squared. To get C by itself, you read both sides. You read the left and the right. And then you get C equals 5. All right, so the hypotenuse in this case is 5. Now that we have opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, we can now use SOKOTOA to find our first three trig functions, okay? So let's write it down. So, ka, toa. okay? All right, 
let's start with sign. Now you have to write complete sentences, okay? Because now it's just like the language of its own. It has to be written in complete sentences. So you're going to write sine theta. Sine of the angle theta is opposite of a hypotenuse. Opposite is 3. Hypotenuse is 5. Okay? That goes sine. Cosine theta is adjacent of a hypotenuse. The adjacent is negative 4 and a hypotenuse is 5. And then the sine cosine tangent, tan theta, is opposite of adjacent. The opposite is 3 and the adjacent is negative 4. So negative 3 over 4 is our tangent of theta. Alright? Now we have the first three, we need to find the reciprocal trig functions for these three. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Cosecant theta is the reciprocal of that, 5 over 3. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Secant theta is negative 5 over 4. Simply reciprocate this. Reciprocal of tan is cotangent. Cotangent theta is negative 4 over 3. Okay? So there goes your uh, six trig functions for that coordinate and the angle in standard position. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at an, another example. This one will involve uh, more steps, namely rationalization. Number two, what if we have the coordinate uh, root two comma root seven? All right. The first thing we want to do is we want to give ourselves a visual so we can label these uh, the components accurately. So we're going to draw our, that goes my uh, y coordinate and that goes my x coordinate. Root 2 is a positive number, so it doesn't really matter. Root 2 is like 1.4, but it doesn't really matter. I can just put it somewhere here. Call that root 2. I know that, I know that going to the right is root 2, right? Since it's positive. So let's call this length root 2. All right, and then that's, we need that's because that's the x, and then the y is root seven. I don't know exactly where that is, so I'm just going to go up. Root seven is going to be somewhere here. If you want to be exact, you can check out what root seven is with your calculator, and that will basically give you the exact um, exact value. We know it's going to be somewhere between two and uh, three, two point something. So root seven is two point six. It doesn't really matter. So. We're going to call this point right here root 7. All right? So this is going to be our point. So now let's create our triangle. Remember, your right triangle, this is the hypotenuse, your right triangle must always sit on the x-axis. Theta has to be the smallest angle from the x-axis. Okay, this is the smallest angle right here. Theta, all right? It's a reference angle. This angle right here is also an angle from the x-axis. But guess what? It's too long. We need the shorter one, the quickest angle. That's the one that we need. Alright, so that goes theta. So that's theta. Root 7 is also on this side right here. That's root 7. Okay. Now let's go ahead and label it. This side right here is opposite this angle. So this side is called the opposite. Okay. And this side right here is the adjacent. And then the longest side is the hypotenuse. Since we're finding all six again, we need to have know the measure of all three sides. I know my adjacent and my opposite. I need to find my hypotenuse. Okay, so um, I'm going to call this side. I'm going to call this A. Call this B. It doesn't matter because these are the legs, and this one I'm going to call C. All right. So we're going to use A square plus B square equals C square to find this, and we're going to go A square. We're going to have root seven quantity square plus root 2 quantity square equals c square. So this is going to give us 7 plus 2 equals c square. And then I have 9 equals c square. And then you're going to root both sides, root the left and the right, to get c. And then we know c equals 3. Okay, so this is 3. All right, now we now have all three sides, so now we can now find uh, Yusuf Katoa to determine the um, to determine the value of all six, the first three six trig ratios. Okay, so we're going to use Yusuf Katoa. So Katoa. Now let's start with sine. Sine theta. You have to write in complete sentences. It's opposite of a hypotenuse, so the opposite is uh, root seven over hypotenuse, which is three. 
and cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is root 2, but the hypotenuse is always 3. And then tan theta is opposite of adjacent over A. The opposite is um, root 7, and the adjacent is root 2. And then we're going to rationalize the denominator. We're going to times it by root 2 top and bottom. Because you can't have a square on the bottom, so you're going to have radicam times radicam. You're going to have root 14 over root 2 times root 2 is just 2. All right? Now, the reciprocal trig ratios. Sine goes to cosecant. Cosecant theta is uh, the reciprocal of this, 3 over root 7. We can't have a square as a denominator, so we rationalize the denominator with 7 root 7. So that gives us uh, 3 root 7 over 7, because root 7 times root 7 is 7. Secant theta is, uh, you reciprocate this, 3 over root 2. And then you times it root 2, top and bottom, root 2, root 2. And then you're going to have uh, 3 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2. Last but not the list is um, cotangent theta. We reciprocate tan, we get 2 over root 14. Times it by root 14, top and bottom, root 14, root 14. And then um, we're going to end up with uh, we're going to end up with 2 root 14 2 root 14 over 14 okay but 2 can go into 14 so let's reduce it further uh, 2 goes here 1 2 goes here 7 so your final answer is root 14 over 7. Okay? So they have it. Alright, so our last question we're going to look at, number 3, is uh, find the reference angle find the reference angle for 300 degrees. Okay? So, so in order to find a reference angle from 300 degrees, all we just have to do is sketch it and find out how far it is from the x-axis. How far is it from the closest x-axis, okay? So where on Earth is 300? I know this is 0. Since it's positive, we're going to go up, right? So 0, 90, keep on going. 180, keep on going. 270, keep on going. 360, too far. Uh, 300 degrees should be so important for. So... 300 degrees is going to be somewhere here. Okay? Now, this is 300 degrees. 300 degrees. This whole angle from here all the way to here. Alright? That goes 300. Alright, where is the reference angle? Um, the reference angle is the shortest angle from the x-axis. So the question is, is it going to be this angle right here? Is it this one? Or is it this one? Which one is shorter? The quickest one, the shortest one is the reference angle. The shortest one is this one right here, right? So the reference angle in this case is this angle, theta. That was the reference angle. So how many degrees is this? If this is 300 and this is 360, how many more from 300 is it going to take you to 360? So theta is simply going to be the bigger one minus the smaller one. 360 minus 300. And your answer theta is equal to 60 degrees. So that goes your reference angle. Okay? Reference angle is 60 degrees. Alright? Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to start uh, with the first part of today's uh, password.